everybody. Thanks for watching. Tonight's pattern is Reed's Gunnison Coachman. It's an all-purpose nymph. I found the pattern in Federation of Fly Fishers Fly Pattern Encyclopedia. I will explain the materials as I go and put the recipe in the description. First off, in the vise, I've got a size 12 barbless 1x long nymph hook in black. And first component I will put on here is some 015 weighted wraps. Now for the thread, I'm using black 70 denier. Now cut that off. Lay a base down a little bit past the start of the bend of the hook. A little past where the barb would be if this was a barbed hook. The tail on this is the crest feathers from a pheasant cock. Kind of looks like Donald Trump with that hair up there. So, take a good sized chunk. Maybe about that many. Okay, I like that. It's not going to be coming off straight off. It's going to be angling down. So, we'll catch it in up here, but then a few wraps going back, we can get it pointing down. So, maybe a couple of wraps. Check your position, make sure you're on top. This stuff is very slippery, it will slide on you. So I think we're on the top enough right there. Now, just a few more wraps to get, get it going around the, the bend of the hook and then pointing down there. That's probably enough. Now we can catch this in about back to where the wire wrap start. I'm going to trim a little bit of this off just to keep from building up too much bulk. The next component, gold wire. I'm using size brassy here. Catch this in, bring it back to where you're going to start the wraps. About the last black thread turn you have right there. Now don't worry about that little uneven spot between the weighted wraps and the abdomen there. We will bury that with one strand of peacock curl. So take one strand. When you've got that one wrapped up there, go ahead and snip it off and counter wrap your rib. Spin that off. The next component, after the peacock curl and the rib, more peacock curl. Three strands this time. I'm gonna catch that in right at the front of that abdomen. Probably wanna spin this one. Spin it into a rope fairly tight. Now wrap the thorax just a little bit thicker than the body. After you've got that caught in, go ahead and snip it off. The next component, after you've wrapped the thorax with peacock curl, just brown hen hackle. Soft hackle, coachman brown or a furnace one of the smaller feathers. I will take it, preen it back, give you that little notch to tie in right there. I put the concave side toward the hook. Just makes it a little easier to wrap the hackle. We're only going to do about two wraps on it. It's a fairly sparse hackle. Go ahead and Snip that front piece off, if you can get to it without snipping your other fibers. Okay, you will want to use your hackle pliers on this one. It's not too slippery, but it's not a whole lot to grab. So wrap this like you would any soft hackle. Two wraps, try to preen them back as you wrap. 
two full wraps will give you plenty of fibers. So zigzag that through there. A couple of wraps behind to secure. Now just preen these back and lay another base down where we before we put the wing on. So that's about all we need right there. Got a, one sticking up, but you know what? We'll be able to push that down with the wing. So for the wing, tip tail, white calf tail. It's a pretty sparse wing, so I've been grabbing a, about that many. How many is that? I don't know. Not too many. The wing about as long as the body. Let's see. Good. Okay, I like that about right there. So swap hands, pinch wrap. Get a couple in there. Check your position. Okay, that's coming off the top. I'm fine with that. A couple more wraps right there. Now I usually hold this piece in when I cut these. These are pretty thick fibers and they will spin on you if you're not careful. So cut that. Maybe push some of these up. See if you can cut it a little bit closer. I could probably wrap the head up, wrap those stubs up in the head. But if the shorter you can get them, the easier it will be to clean up your head. So that's pretty short right there. So on the head, just start your wrap right behind the eye and then ramp it back up. Quick four or five turn whip finish. Some head cement. And the Reed's Gunnison Coachman is done. Anyway, it's a great pattern. I hope you give it a try. I hope you enjoyed. If you've watched this far, I hope you will consider subscribing. That's all. Thanks again.